We've got the additional pieces, the Fontaine Jeep and the Fontaine Stinger attached to the new low boy. It's got a few new options on it. We've got the uh, Stinger attachment you can toggle on and off on the back now, uh, as well as the, the extra wide load uh, uh, boards down the side. You can turn those on and off if you want to uh, for some of the larger equipment that we can haul around now. Um, so I'm going to show you the process for attaching these trailers and detaching the trailers and also carrying a load and taking it off safely. Um, yeah, if you don't follow the particular order that you do this in, the trailer will go crazy and glitch through the world and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, just uh, kind of follow along with what I'm going to do here and uh, you shouldn't have any trouble hauling stuff around. Um, so first thing we're going to do is get started. Uh, you need to position all the trailers to where they're going to attach. <coughs> So we'll just go into menu, and menu is the best tool. I recommend using this for uh, any of your uh, manipulation of these trailers. Um, also your attaches, uh, I think 5M has their own attachment tool that you can use. Um, but 5M seems to, or uh, menu seems to work the best for uh, doing all this stuff. So when you get ready to get started, just position your uh, trailer pieces where they need to go. Uh, just kind of get them close, they don't have to be exact. Um, and this is kind of the same uh, process for doing B trailers add-on that's out there. I know a lot of people have gotten uh, had confusion over how that works and how they attach and stuff like that. So this is uh, generally the same process for attaching those trailers as well. Um, so once you've got them all positioned where they need to be, uh, we're always going to start from the back. Uh, so the first attachment, uh, hop in the middle, low boy, and uh, all you got to do is hit the repair button. And if you watch closely in the back here when I do it. Um, you'll see the uh, the trailer attach. See? That's all you gotta do. Once you do that, you just move up to the next trailer. Follow the same process. Just hop in. Attach. There you go. Now you are all set to uh, haul something really big. Um, you just pull the trailer up, or the truck up, and attach it like normal. back up like normal. There you go. Got a really sweet looking trailer to haul around. Um, so the next part is detaching. So let's say we're going to go ahead and get this set up to haul the uh, dump truck we see in the background there. Um, so once again, process always starts in the back. Uh, so this time you will, uh, well, you actually don't even have to hop in them to do this. Um, you just go into menu, right click on the last one, to uh, attachment options and detach it. You'll see it break away. Once you do that, then you can move on to the second one. Just right click on it. Same process. Attachment. Detach. There you go. Then you can just right click and remove your neck just like you normally would. Some extra Let's turn the neck off. And we're done. <clears throat> now we can uh, load up our load and finish the uh, attachment process. So let's just go ahead and get in here and move this out of the way. Just pull it up a bit so we get the dump truck in there. Let's run over here really quick. Now, the trailer is pretty cool. It's not perfect. Uh, like I said, it is a lengthy process to, uh, to get the uh, attachments and stuff working. Um, well, the detaches. I mean, it, I mean, even in real life, when you go to attach and detach one of these, it's a it's a multi-step process. So it's not too far-fetched. The processes you have to go through to uh, get the thing working. Um, so we just load up the machine. Those extra wide boards help out there a lot. Got a little more realistic. Get it into position. Just hop out of the dump truck. Um, let's go ahead and kill that engine. And this is kind of, you can do this however you want. You guys know how attaches work. Uh, make sure keep world position is checked there. That way it kind of helps keep things flat sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it tweaks them a little bit, but it's not as bad as not having that turned on. Let's just push this twig pitch back down a little bit. That's close enough. 
So there you go. There's your vehicle. Just jump back in your uh, low boy itself. You can turn the neck back on. And all our machine. Let's go ahead and get it. turn the neck on. Truck back, and I'll show you the attachment process again. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, once you've done it two or three times, you'll get the hang of it. It's really easy. So, uh, like I said, it's just the detachment part that's uh, a little tedious, and just the order that you've got to do it in. So just get it as close as you can when you got to line up to it. Like I said, it'll, as long as you got it within, you know, some close attaching range, it'll automatically suck it in and attach it. Um, sometimes if you don't have it quite close enough, you have to hit the repair button a few times to get it to take, but generally, one time does it. There you go. So we'll haul this down here a little bit, and I'll, <coughs> I'll show you the detach process. It's uh, basically the same as detaching the trailers, just when you have a vehicle, there's um, just the one extra step of detaching the machine itself. Functions just like it should. All the trailers flex where they're supposed to. There you go. Like that. So let's get this. Like I said, it's always reverse. Always start at the back. Even when you got a vehicle on. So just pull up menu. Right click on your stinger and detach it. Low boy. Attach it. Then always uh, let me go ahead and drop our uh, uh, neck real quick. Get it ready to unload. Final step is just detaching the machine itself. And you know this is just as good as it gets. I mean, sometimes this works. Sometimes it goes crazy. Eh, I've seen worse, so not bad. And then you're all detached, ready to unload, ready to take it to a new job site, do whatever you need to do next. Just remember that uh, you know, whenever you get ready to do your attaches, you just uh, jump in the middle one first, hit the fix button so it pulls in the stinger, get in the Jeep, hit the same thing, attach it, and then you're good to rock and roll. Alright, that's it. Now, I'm sure you guys, if you have any questions, you'll hit up the comments and let me know if there's any issues with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is one of my favorite trailers, and I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. So, you guys like it. Enjoy.